Hi, I'm Ray LaHood, Secretary of Transportation. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of On The Go. This month, we received a number of questions from readers over at Streets Blog, and I'm excited to get to them, so here we go. Timothy asks, what's the status on high-speed rail? When will we have it? Well, Timothy, high-speed rail is coming to America. We've, we have great partners. We started off with a great partner in Governor Schwarzenegger in California, now Governor Brown, and a number of rail enthusiasts there are very excited. They've revised their plan, and they have a new chair of their rail authority, Dan Richard, who's doing a great job. And so California is really on its way to implementing what, what I believe is a very strong, solid high-speed rail plan. In the Midwest, uh, Governor Snyder in Michigan, Governor Quinn in Illinois, Governor Nixon in Missouri, all have teamed up for a a really good corridor there where we've invested over two billion dollars. And then of course on the Northeast Corridor where people have really been accustomed to using uh, Amtrak, Amtrak service uh, ridership is way up, Amtrak is making money, and we believe the investments we have made there uh, to fix up some of the equipment, to allow Amtrak to buy new equipment, new cars, uh, will really continue to improve service. People are in America are very excited about opportunities for passenger rail, and we are too. It's a very good vision the president has. The vision really means that over the next 25 years, we connect 80% of the country with passenger rail. It's a great vision. We've put out an enormous amount of money, and we will continue to work with our partners to implement passenger rail. Passenger rail is coming to America. And we're grateful to President Obama for his vision about this. Colin writes, when will DOT provide options to cities that want livable communities? Well, I'm very pleased uh, that I was just in Dubuque, Iowa, where one of our very first Tiger grants, three years ago, we invested $5.2 million, which leveraged another 200,000, excuse me, $200 million was leveraged with the 5.2 million, and they've completely redone, completely changed the millwork area of Dubuque. IBM believed that Dubuque was one of the most livable cities in America, and they brought 1,500 people, renovated and renewed a huge uh, old department store in downtown Dubuque. So with the millwork area, where they've done all new streets, where uh, now private investment is uh, building new apartments and new living. HUD is investing money for affordable housing, new stores. The whole arts community will be located in the warehouse district. And so with a $5.2 million investment that leveraged another $200 million plus IBM's investment, we've transformed uh, the community of Dubuque has transformed its downtown. That is a clear example of a livable, sustainable community where you change the streetscape, where you bring in affordable housing money, where you bring in private money and make investments, and we're gonna use Dubuque as a model. There are other communities too where we've made investments. The Tiger program has really helped us implement with our partners in communities the ability to leverage private money, to leverage other public money, to leverage some of our money here through the Tiger program to create livable and sustainable communities. We've implemented streetcar programs, light rail programs, uh, bus rapid transit programs, affordable housing. We've had great partnerships with our colleagues at HUD and EPA. So again, we're on our way. Streets Man writes in, are you now or have you considered partnering on major programs targeted at increasing walking and cycling or making conditions to do so safer. Well, we are very proud to have participated here in Washington, D.C. in the bike share program, the inauguration of it with former Mayor Fenty and others uh, by actually uh, riding the streets and using the, the, the lanes that have been uh, implemented in Washington, D.C. We did it in Denver with then uh, 
Mayor John Hickenlooper, who's now the governor of Colorado. Uh, he inaugurated a very, very significant bike share program, and we were out there and rode with the governor, then mayor, and uh, helped inaugurate that. We're working with the city of Chicago and their dreams to implement a very strong bike share program. We believe these bike share programs are very important for communities uh, to allow for uh, the opportunity for people to have all kinds of forms of transportation. We know that people love to bike. We have also invested in uh, rails to trails. We've invested in biking and walking paths. We believe this really enhances communities' ability to offer people the kind of amenities, the kind of opportunities for walking, for riding. And uh, so bike share coupled with rails to trails, coupled with money for walking and biking paths, uh, really helping communities uh, carry out uh, their plans. Kilmoto asks, to what extent will driverless cars and vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle systems help reduce deaths on our roadways? Well, we know that automobile companies are investing in a lot of different safety technology. We know that vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle opportunities can prevent uh, crashes, can prevent uh, injuries, can prevent people from uh, running into one another. Uh, we are uh, pleased with what the car manufacturers are doing in terms of the safety technology they're putting in cars uh, so that people can drive safer. Uh, with respect to your question about driverless uh, cars, uh, we're, just, uh, we're just starting to, to look into that. We don't have much research on it. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, as this kind of technology moves forward uh, that uh, we're intimately involved uh, so that uh, we can continue to promote the safest uh, driving possible. But uh, we, we appreciate what the car manufacturers are doing in terms of the safety technology they're putting in, in place. Well, that does it for today. Thanks for all the questions, especially from our friends at Streets Blog. And keep writing in on Fastlane, Facebook, and Twitter. Until the next time, be safe.